Hi guys, I'm back again to show you what has changed and what's new in the latest beta 4 for Samsung Galaxy S7 Nougat as opposed to beta 1 and beta 2. Let's start. First thing to know is this isn't TouchWiz anymore. This is now called Samsung Experience and it's apparently version 8. So long TouchWiz, you may be missed. Next a notification drawer. It is way smaller than on beta 1 and beta 2. It makes these icons look more pleasing to the eyes. A line now separates the date from time. The settings icon looks different as well. Upon expansion, we can see a snappy animation. Still smooth as before but even more snappy. Now you can change the layout from 3x3 to default 4x3 or an insane 5x5. Tapping on auto on the brightness slider opens you the new brightness menu where you can choose a brightness slider to be up top for those who prefer it that way. I remember the complaints on my previous video for people who wanted a brightness slider back up top. Now you've got it. Gone is the ugly grey line below notifications which required actions. Now the panel looks wider and better. Moving on to multi-window. Now by default pop-up view doesn't work and a long press on recent key doesn't trigger multi-window. This can be enabled from the settings, advanced features and multi-window. There is also a more apps level which opens an app drawer containing apps compatible with Android Nougat's multi-window. You can toggle between these and recent apps. Minimize apps now still move together but don't have a centripetal animation like on Better One. Also, the folder containing the apps looks a little bit more polished. Some apps are different like the settings now has a search icon instead of text, gallery has a mute button to switch off smart suggestions, and a calendar has some redesign with larger month labels and square shaped events instead of circles. It also has new day previews which are larger and more immersive. Samsung passes a new authentication method using fingerprint and irises to secure stuff. Given that the Galaxy S7 has no iris scanner, maybe this is a placeholder or showcase for a future Galaxy S8 feature. Also for those wondering, Gear VR now works. Those are for now the most visible changes. I've covered every new feature in previous videos and this was a slight update to those. Check them out in the description or cards above. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos. Check out my previous video where I talk about what's the perfect smartphone. Bye.